So we're gonna do a sinking arm drag, okay? This works well with people who have great, great grip strength and you are, it's hard to get away, okay? Like I was just saying here before to my team, if somebody's grabbing your wrist and they have really good grip, grip strength and I can't you know, work my hand away, don't get into a tug of war where you're stepping and you're trying to pull hard. I'm inviting myself to be taken down that way, okay? So what I need to do is if I can't beat him, I gotta, get, I gotta go around it somehow, right? If I can't beat him, I gotta go around it, right? So instead of pulling it back, maybe I'll pull back a little bit. I'll feel he's pulling heavy, he pulls me back. I just drive my hand down to the mat. Now it's gonna lower my level and I can drag, okay? And I'll, and I'll be invited into the take now, okay? Because a lot of times, here, all right, and he, if I push my arm forward, he's like, no, wait a second, I wanna push it back. Exactly, he wants something. If I pull it back, he wants this way. But if I go to a neutral area, he doesn't really quite know. It's not as telegraph. I come high in the arm, I drag it by, and I come in for my shot, okay? So here, one more time. Okay, we work the other side now. Here's my wrist. Okay, I'm pulling, I can't get away, I can't get it. All right, now I just sink, drag, and get in on the shot. Get it nice and low, okay? The nice part about it is, is when I sink my grip to the ground, it lowers my level. I feel like I need to get lower. Granted, it will make him lower as well, but if it fails for whatever reason, I can immediately just start coming back out. He gets a good scroll, I can come back out to a front end level. So just keep all your options open. Okay, seeking arm trap. Any questions? Like I said, this works well with people who've got great grip strength, okay? Let's open up our game. Here we go. Three, two, one.